Um, now, we're going to get into the compositing in just a sec. So, what I'm going to do is um, is just add in some render layers because once you've um, once you've rendered it, you're pretty much stuck with how it is in the compositor. So, you want to set up the render layers first before you render it. So. Um, what we want to do is we want to separate the fluid and the flame so that you can apply separate effects to, um, yeah, you know, make a nice glowing flame here and then have just a subtle glow around this uh, this fluid there. So um, I'm going to name this first render layer here Fire, and we're going to make that layer 1, okay? So layer 1, and I'm going to move, just save it, I'm going to move the fluid to layer 2, like this, and... Um, just make sure you move the actual any lamps or whatever that are with it because it can you know have funny problems later on if you don't. And um, I'm going to name this new render layer fluid and select layer 2. Very, very simple. Now for the fluid, you want to uncheck sky, okay? Because essentially what we're going to be doing is applying the fluid over the top of the fire layer. And if you've got sky turned on, actually no, the sky is black, isn't it? Yeah, it shouldn't actually really matter at all. So yeah, don't worry about that. Um, okay, so the background, that's going to be on layer 1, that should be fine. Now there is one other thing that we want to add to this. Um, I want there to be kind of like a nice like a kind of like a collision blast, like a collision lens flare right where these two are connecting, where the fluid and the fire is coming down, okay? So to do that, what I want to do is just create like a nice white ball right at that point right there, okay? So um, let me just select, yeah, what can I select? Oh, I'll just select the fluid, doesn't really matter. And I'm going to add in a UV sphere. I'm going to scale this right down to be something small. Let's just go front view mode, that might help. And I'm gonna put it, yeah, around about there I think is uh, I think is pretty good. So just kind of where the flame is, just hitting about there. And for the materials for this, I'm just gonna turn on shadeless so that it's a nice solid white color right there. And I'm gonna move it to layer three, like so. And going to add a new render layer, and I'm just going to call this one white ball. Check layer three. I'm going to turn off sky anyway because that's just what I do. It's one of my habits. Just saves you trouble later on if you've got a background or whatever. Um, anyway, that's all set up now. Um, I think I just realized the reason it's taken so long to render is it's got 50% of this huge render. So I'm just going to turn that down to be. 20% and that's going to render it in a lot shorter time. So let's give it a render now and let's see how the scene looks. Hooray! We've got a white circle in the middle of our render. That's because we've got our white ball layer selected there. Anyway, now it should be ready to uh, ready to composite. So in this drop down list at the top here, I'm just going to go ahead and select compositing. Or as a hotkey, you can hold down control and then just use the arrow keys like left and right or whatever. And you can just jump between these workspaces. A um, little tip there for you. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and remove these boxes at the bottom there because we don't need them. And I'm going to turn on use nose. Okay, now we have this entire uh, screen here to play with. So. Um, first thing first, I'm going to add in a viewer node just so we can see what we're looking at here and check backdrop. So this is our flame layer. As you can see, it looks very nice. And first thing I'm going to do with our flame layer is, um, is apply that glow effect. Now I only want the glow to be on the flame itself, so I want to be able to remove this uh, kind of blue and um, orange colors in the background. It's kind of uh, difficult having it you know, the background not on a separate layer. You could do that if you want, but it can kind of get a little bit hard later on. Um, but anyway, so what I'm going to do is just add an RGB curve. Drop this in right here. And I'm going to turn down the brightness and contrast like so till you've essentially just got the flame. Um, you've got a little bit of blue down there, but that's all right. So something like that should be fine. And then I'm going to add in a blur node like so. Set this to fast Gaussian and then check relative so that it doesn't matter what the resolution or whatever it is. Turn on X and let's just set this to say 4%. And that's kind of the glow effect that you've got there. Maybe 5 I think might be better perhaps. That's all right. And then I'm going to add in a mix node and that's going to allow us to um, essentially place these two effects over the top of one another. So let's just drag that one into that input right there. 
and then select add from this drop down list and then select one. Okay. Make sure that the blur node is going into the bottom of those values. That's so that you can turn this value down here if you want. And that's going to turn down the amount of the bottom input, if that makes sense. Okay. Okay, so something like that I think is fine. I'll just check the bottom part is all right. Okay, it's not bad. All right, so now what I'm going to do is add in our fluid render layer. Fluid. Okay, let's see how that looks. There you go, not bad. So we, we turned on the emit value and you can see it's a lot more bluish looking. Possibly too bluish looking. I'm not really sure. It's, uh, yeah, it's uh, just, I don't know. Maybe it'll look all right when we put it all together. Um... So I'm going to add, just duplicate that blur node right there. I might turn it down to 4% perhaps, so it's a little bit less of a glow. And I'm going to add in an our add node, or just duplicate that one right there. Drop this in here. And I'm turning the glow amount down to be something a little bit more reasonable. So about a 0.2 or... You know, something like that. So it's not over the top, but it is. Um, there is a glow there, if that makes um, sense. I don't know why I keep saying if that makes sense, because a lot of the stuff is very simple. Anyway, I'm sure I'm annoying you all. <laughs> okay, so I'm just duplicating that add node, and I'm just combining everything together as one. Okay, and so now you can see how it's all looking. It's all coming together now. It's not too bad. Okay, drag this across, and oh, let's move this in here. All right, so that's essentially how the scene is looking. Yeah, the the fluid is way too blue. I don't know what I was thinking. Maybe it just worked with my scene. I don't know. It's um, it does look very funky with that emitting value. So I'm turning that way down to a point zero five, and uh, let's hope. Looks a little bit nicer, because, um, yeah, that just looks really fake to me. Maybe it's the transparency value. Maybe that's it. I think I set that to 0.1. I mean, 0 0.2, and it should have been 0.1. Anyway, let's uh, let's try it now. Let's give it another render. I wasn't sure when I was doing the alpha for that. I was like, 0 0.2, 0 0.1. Um, but maybe it'll look a bit nicer now, hopefully. Yeah, it's... <laughs> well... Yeah, yeah, whatever. Um, I'm also going to turn down the specularity as well. Look at me, I'm just like like grasping at straws here, trying to save the render because it's not looking good. Um, so I'm just turning down the specularity a bit to get rid of those uh, nasty, these parts right here. They're still a little bit over the top, but it's all right. It's better than before. Um, maybe what I'll do, maybe, maybe this will work. What did I click? Sometimes I hit the wrong keys, and then Blender just has a spaz attack. Um, okay, I think it's because I added the put an add node in there, so it's kind of applying the one over the top of the other, and you shouldn't really do that. So I'm going to hold down Control and then drag my mouse across, and it's going to create a cut there. Um, I'm going to drop in an alpha over node. Okay, so I can't remember where it is. It's here. Underneath color, alpha over. Okay, I'm gonna I'm just hoping that this is gonna work. Um, let's just see how that turns out. There we go. That's a little bit nicer. So it's no longer just taking those white values and applying it over the top. It's, uh, it's doing something a little bit more. Um, so now I can apply this with that very easily, and it should. There you go. It's coming together now. It's not. It's not looking like a total failure. So um, so that's good. That's good. All right. Cool. So. One final thing we're going to do is you remember we created that white ball layer. So I'm going to go ahead and add that now. Render layer, white ball. Okay, so this is very simple. What we're going to do is add in a glare node like this. Connect this to the glare node. Um, by the way, if you're not sure what I'm doing when I just click on one of these nodes and the viewer node just automatically views it, I'm holding control and shift and then you left click on it and then it's um, it's giving you a preview of that node there. So just to explain that. Now I'm going to turn the streaks, yeah, the streaks down to two and the threshold all the way down to zero. Okay, so now you can see we've got this nice uh, line across it. So essentially what we're creating is like an anamorphic lens flare. Okay, now what I want it to be is um, if I just add in 
Let's add in a, uh, a mix node right here. I'll just show you how it looks. Okay, so you've got this uh, yeah, white circle over the top of everything, not very good. Um, now, the reason the white circle there is because it's applying the original white circle with the glare. So like that. Um, so what I want to do is turn up this mix amount. So if I turn that all the way up to one, it's only going to show the glare. And if you turn that all the way down to minus one, it's only going to show the um, the circle. And if you set it at zero, it's going to show equal parts of both. So I'm going to set that all the way up to one so that it's just the glare effect. And um, you'll be able to see now it looks a little bit nicer. Um, but what I want to do is make the glare tilted at the same angle as that kind of explosion um, effect is happening. So what I'm going to do is, uh, it's kind of hard to see it. I'm just going to turn this up to five, okay? This factor amount, you set that to five and it's going to increase the amount of it by uh, five times, essentially. Um, you can also increase the fade amount and that's going to make the tail of it a little bit longer. So if you just bring that up to like 0.96 or something, and then maybe turn the iterations up to five as well. There you go. Now you've got kind of a nicer, uh, wide-looking flare. Maybe a 0.95. That'll be good. And then you can turn the angle offset. Okay, so if you just set this like that. There you go. Wow, that was a good guess, wasn't it? That is pretty spot on, I think. Um, not bad. Okay, so one final thing. It's a little bit too sharp there. Like you've got this white blare going across everything. So I'm going to drop in a blur node, set it to fast Gaussian, relative X, and then let's make this, let's try 3%. Maybe that's too much. Maybe 2%. You just want there to be a nice kind of lit up part there. And let's just drop an RGB curve in here. And I'm going to change the color. So just click the R for the red channel. Increase that. And then maybe the green as well, and that'll give it a yellowish uh, tint to it. And turn down the add amount, because that is way too much. Anyway, that's really subtle. Um, kind of too subtle, really. I mean, the flame is just massive, and it's huge, and it doesn't really match the rest of the scene for the example. But, I mean, as I said before, you can play around with it, make that object there smaller, and I'm sure it would be looking a lot nicer. Um... But there you go, guys. I'm sure you get the gist of it. Um, that is how you can use Blender to use, um, yeah, to create this kind of uh, fire versus water, good versus evil coming together. Who's going to win? It looks like the water is going to win. And it's all very exciting. Um, so there you go. Wow, it looks completely different. Um, actually, you know what? I'm just going to quickly tweak this, our smoke box here, because I think maybe this should be a little bit further along, just so that it's a little bit whiter in places. Um, I don't know if this is going to save it at all, at all, but I'm just, uh, just trying to think as to how else it could be tweaked a little bit better, just so that it gives us a nicer looking result. Anyway, let's just, uh, let's see, let's go. No, nothing, nothing at all. Um, anyway, there you go, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Hope you learned a few things from it. Um, there is the blend file, of course, provided. So if you want to uh, check out my file right here and uh, pull it apart, you're welcome to do that. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, if you want to check out more of my tutorials, just head over to blenderguru.com. Otherwise, thank you very much for um, watching this tutorial, and I will see you next time. Thank you.